this is a video um, showing you the USB bridge function of the Nunchuck mod PCB that Benjamin Verde has used. Um, to start off with, two of the um, faults that um, people are having with them um, was previous code that was a bit faulty, as well as NRF chips that are bad quality. Now, the board is set out to take a SMD um, chip that solders on, just eight little pins, um, but those chips are generally bad and fake um, and don't provide a good um, connection. The Even the ones that I've got here, they are fake, but they're working a lot better. Um, the other problem is people putting them in carbon fiber decks and then they don't work very well. Carbon fiber is a natural RF blocker, but um, I sit mine outside and then it's perfectly fine. The um, whole connection that I have set up right now is just for data logging. Um, I don't use the remote at the moment. Um, this one here has been modified. I've got wires coming off. I've soldered them on to this little chip here. Um, I've got better ones from um, Sparkfun that are genuine chips that will work better. Benjamin's at the moment redesigning the PCB. I've attempted to do this myself, but um, I got some samples made and they didn't work very well um, with the NRF chip embedded into it. Um, it takes a little bit of practice in the um, PCB designing area that uh, might be a little bit out of my um, reach at the moment. Um, RF aerials are really hard um, to get the um, dependencies right and things like that. But this one I've set up um, as a USB, so I've soldered a USB directly onto it so I can plug it in as if it was a USB stick, um, but it's 2.4 gigahertz directly to the VESC. Um, I've got the NRF on the other side that's connected uh, right here. My USB port is always inside of the deck so I can change settings on the go um, if I don't have anything like this. Basically, open up BLDC tool, I plug this in, make sure it's connected, the red light stays solid when it is connected. I then refresh. I've got my USB to UART port um, because the board uses a CP2101 um, a USB to serial um, connection. I'm going to click connect. Watch down the bottom. It says VEST firmware version 2.15. Um, so it's detected the VESC. Here I'm going to read my configuration. Now can be slow and packets do get dropped so it happens on the second time this is all to do with bad NRF chips I can go to my application tab here read configuration that happened the first time so you can see I'm on NRF um, if I click on my numtrack tab and display I've got my PPM signal right there if I move my trigger um, it will move too but get rid of that. So I wrote all my configuration. I'm just going to do a disconnect and then connect again because it likes packets to drop. I need to update the NRF chips on it so then it's a little bit better but I can activate real-time data. You can see it's a little bit slow um, in the speed um, that it actually does but I can unplug my computer from power, get this data, leave the board behind, and I can walk around the house. And I can stand over here at my nice bench. I'm gonna turn off real-time data. And then I can go, oh, those parameters went right. I'm gonna set this to 30 amp, oh, 50 amps. And right configuration, you see it's written down the bottom and then I can go, oh, no, nah, didn't work and I can write that again and fix it up. That's as simple as that. Um, hopefully these boards will get made in the uh, coming future. Um, the similar functions can get done, um, can 
be done with um, Arduinos and um, people like uh, Roland Gecko um, have um, a nunchuck that uh, should be able to do the same thing. Code hasn't implemented it yet, but um, hopefully he'll be able to do that in the near future now that Benjamin has implemented it himself. Uh, this is using a, the CAN bus protocol to connect um, through each other, so it's the same as CAN forwarding here. It's just forwarding this signal through, via NRF all the way to the VESC um, to make it seem like this is nearly like another VESC. But um, that's it. Um, if you like my videos or you want me to do a video about anything else, let me know um, and I'll um, be happy to... Um, find some time and do that for you. Thank you very much.